Hello everybody, and welcome back to God Eater 2 Rage Burst. Last time we were gonna go hunt down Osario with Julius and uh, probably get a cutscene along the way. Let's see if that actually happens. If not... Oh yeah, we gotta have a talk with Julius. Right. Ready to commence the mission? Good luck out there. Let's go, Why Vice is Captain. that so freaking loud? Is it because the voices? Oh shit. Not the voices in my head though, This, these voices. They're not higher than they were before. Hmm. I don't know why those were just suddenly so much more loud than I'm used to. Hmm. Maybe... I don't know. She's not up and about yet. Hmm. Okay. Alright. I was expecting him to actually die. Aww. Yeah, it's just so much freaking louder. Not going to very much. Alright. Audio balancing is God Eater. What sorcery is this? Maybe I should focus on Bad Boy. But really, let's be real. There we go. All right, I'm getting back into it. Hmm. There's just him left, and then the Sariel. Uh, we have a couple more seconds before the Sario shows up, so I better kill him quick. Or like, real quick. Engaged origami retreating to feet. Mm, that's bad. Where are you going? I... Enough. I'm not gonna be able to eat him. Oh, uh, well, that's fine. A massive hostile has entered the combat zone. Oh, she's right behind me. Sending the coordinates. Better. Here. What? Wait, my sure break. My sure broke quick. It wore off. What? Did the origami bullet do that? Why would the origami bullet do that though? That I don't get. I don't get that one. Why'd my origami bullet wear off early? I had it with the gun out. And then it disappeared. Come on. <laughs> I... I mean, we don't need it so badly. Not really. It's honestly just for her head. And I have one at like 5 and one at... Another time? Uh, 5 at 2. I'm honestly more worried about her taking forever than, uh, than getting all her bomb breaks. Because I have a feeling she's going to be here for the next seven minutes. And I wish I could say I was joking. Hmm. Oh, god damn it. Why don't I ever bring any poison? Another thing probably people over sometimes think. Where are you going? I... They just kind of take up space and it's so particular. Blood Alpha, health readings are like, in the realm. Even if I do fight a Sario, I don't need him half the time. So, you know. Yeah. Like, I could still heal this. I just have to not get hit for the next 30 seconds, which ain't too bad. Concerning how much damage I can dish out to her. Hey. And I might get her head move. Oh, okay. That's fine. And look at that. I'm fine. Ooh. She almost nicked me there. Despite me. Especially in her inter face. Well, hopefully on top of her head.
No? Okay. Alright. Right. Oh, it actually worked. Alright. I was like, why would I do that? I kept doing it. I was like, because it might work. The link support device is it don't matter. We are five minutes into the operation. Alright. Right, huge range. Our is to see Especially why she's heading for food. Enraged. Best to run. Hmm. Alright. This isn't going too badly. I don't know how weak she is, though. That kind of sucks. I, I actually like bringing shield for that. So it's nice to remember her. Or to know in general how weak they are. I could bring the, um... Ability. On my boat. On my, um... Not on my shield. Extractor? Whatever it's called. What are they called? Utility? I don't remember. They have like a really weird name. They're only using this. Basically the burst effect things. Yeah, like those. I mean, it's useful. I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, passive regen is just so much more useful. And I should have definitely been hit there, without a doubt. Hey. Wreck the world. Alright. Still fine. That's a lot of damage. If I hit her right there? Okay. That's actually not too bad of damage. I can respect that. Aww. There we go. Seven minutes in now. I don't think she's gonna go down just yet. I think we've got another two minutes with her. I feel like she's gonna be that beefy. She has retreated a couple times. But they seem to be, like, doing that a lot more often than they did in, uh, Resurrection, honestly. Like, they'll retreat every 20% instead of, like, 30% or 40%. Like they used to. Because it would be like, oh, they're not gonna retreat until right before they die in Resurrection. And that would happen a lot. Seven and a half? I called it pretty close. Actually, no, we did see her at like a minute twenty. Okay. Still, could have went a little quicker. Julius. Look at you. No, you're fine. Julius did fine. And now we gotta talk to him. Well, shit. Either he's gonna defend Rachel, and I'm gonna lose respect for him very quickly, or he's gonna be very upset, or he's gonna be very upset and feel guilty. I'm not sure which. I'm kind of hoping he's on the I hate Rachel train. Double support from the same person? I'll Interesting. Handle it. I didn't know that could actually happen. I'll guess I'll take All some right. of us. Let's try this then. That's interesting. So it re-rolled into a re-roll from the same person. That's pretty cool. That's like the first time I've actually seen that happen. So it's pretty freaking rare. So I usually re-roll just for bonus points. Nice captain. Oh god. Do you recall the day you joined us in the blood unit? I do. Good. It seems a long time ago. When the unit was created, it was just me. I trained constantly under Dr. Rachel's watch. It was that way for years before Romeo. It was a difficult adjustment. He spoke incessantly. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it stopped bothering me. I rather liked hearing his voice ring across Friar. I miss it. I do too. Then you and Nana joined us. Mm -hmm. I was truly grateful to have Romeo then. He was a, a bridge between you two and myself. Tell me, what did you think of him? He was dependable, he was kind. 
he was a bit more kind than dependable. Like, 60-40. I miss Romeo. Yes, he was always the life of the team. He was, in many ways, our soul. Finally, Gil and Shield joined our ranks. You all overcame so much together. One by one, you woke the power in your veins. It never would have happened without you. I... I wanted to make sure you knew that. Thank you. Aww. You have a way with people. A gift. Perhaps that warmth is the source of your blood power as well. I think... I think you will all be fine without me. Julius? God... Damn, you have some nice looking eyes. But still, what are you talking about? Don't, don't, don't do this. Please, give this to the others. Freaking with this data chip thing again? Like, Lindo? I'm leaving blood. What? I pass command to you. Lead the unit as oh. you always have, and continue our fight against the Aragami. I fucking see it right now. His fucking left hand. Taken a place with Dr. Rachel, working to improve the God Ark soldiers. If they can be perfected and dominate in battle, then we'll never have to lose anyone again. I'll find a way. I swear that. Until then, I leave things in your hands, Captain. I just started getting over Romeo. God damn it. Julius is going to develop the God Ark soldiers. If that's why he left blood, is this is no joke. Oh, God damn it! I legitimately, I legitimately had something in my eye, and I was like, I don't want to take the time to wipe it out. Captain Nemo. I apologize for bringing that subject up so suddenly, but thank you for listening to me. I'm leaving blood to create a new type of Goddard Soldier Squadron. With Dr. Rachel's technology, skills, and my blood power control, I think we can create a powerful and reliable one-man Goddard Soldier. I am positive that this is the greatest contribution I can make to everyone now. I leave blood in your capable hands. Seen Captain Julius since yesterday. Do you know where he went? That blindsided me pretty bad. God damn. I want to talk to you. I heard they're going to focus on God Ark Soldiers production. After that incident, are they serious? And what's this about Julius quitting? What's gonna happen to Blood? I fucking don't know. I don't know. Seems Dr. Germ has been has an official personal change for blood. It's an official per personnel change for blood. Okay. Let's head to the director's office first then. No, I'm heading to the garden. Okay, I gotta remember the button too. It's like this. Yeah. Hey Romeo. So, turns out, you're not going to be alone for very long. Our buddy Julius is going to come see you soon. Yep. Well, you guys will have your own little two-man team like Cannon and Haru. So, don't worry. Won't be lonely for you anymore. See you, Romeo. I'm not prepared for that. I'm not prepared for it yet. Despite countless victims and changes of the leadership, unmanned god arc soldier development continues. We are powerless. Yeah, kinda seems that way.
Hey, Drew. As I'm sure you've all heard, Julius Visconti has resigned his commission as Captain of Blood. Mm-hmm. He transferred to R&D on Friar. He'll be working with Dr. Rachel to mass-produce Godark soldiers. As of now, Friar will focus all effort on the Godark soldiers. God Eater operations are henceforth suspended. Suspended? All of Friar's former God Eaters have been transferred. You will now be serving the Far East branch. These are your orders, until further notice. I understand you're to be the captain's replacement. <laughs> You'll be no end of trouble. Germ, don't fucking test me. That is all out of my sight. We're fucking booted out of here. What? Was there something else you need? Dismissed. I have work to do. Forget that. Isn't the cap... Isn't Julius coming with us? What did I just say? No. His new directive is to work R&D on the Godark soldiers. But Dr. Rachel would never be okay with that. Julius is the team leader. She approved of the transfer, of course. She expects great things of you all in the Far East. If you want to know why your leader abandoned you, go ask him yourself. You know where to find him. What? You little... Understood, sir. We will abide by these new orders. Thank you for your time, Director Graham. Hmm. Yes. Dismissed. So we can go see him then? Friar won't just be developing God Ark soldiers anymore. They'll be researching the Black Plague and cures for it. We can't easily get involved with them if we leave and no, and no longer associate with Friar. We don't have a lot of time either. Let's not leave anything unfinished. They said anyone not on staff has to stay right here. He was supposed to be staff until just a minute ago. He won't be able to visit He won't be able to visit Romeo's grave with us anymore, will he? Oh fuck. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna repeat. You won't even let me in. Damn. You guys are probably gonna repeat. I heard that you're going, so this is really goodbye, isn't it? Don't worry. We'll protect Romeo's grave. Thank you. I haven't seen Julia since yesterday. You repeated. But your other buddy didn't, thankfully. What are you thinking, Julius? I don't fucking know what he's thinking, man. Oh, is this the last time we were on Friar? That'd be pretty big, pretty early. Man, this this episode's already been pretty freaking roller coaster like the last ten minutes or so. Fifteen, maybe. Let me know when you're ready to return to the Far East branch. I guess I'm good. It's only for a short while, but I'm glad I got to work with you. This feels strange to say, but I'd like to work with you again sometime. Very well. Please be careful. I cannot believe that happened. Fuck. Julius. I'm still... <sighs> Alright. In the end, he didn't come to say goodbye. I guess blood doesn't matter to- Not a doll! Julius said he's going to upgrade the Godark soldiers, right? Yeah, but does he need to quit blood to do it? I wonder if there isn't- Isn't more to that story. If there is, we should ask him. You can get in touch with him, right? You can use lounge monitors for video conferences. They're already connected. Go right ahead. No way. Really? Did you hear that just now? 
Let's get to the lounge and call Julius. Aw, oh, shit. I should have went over there and talked to people first. Ah, oh, well. Let's go. Let's go ask him ourselves. This is not gonna go well. Until there's official personal change, blood remains the same. We follow orders from Far East. What is Julius doing right now, I wonder? About to get his ass chewed out by us. That's what he's gonna do. The pain of losing a friend. Don't let it weigh you down. Share the burden. I'm sharing it. Sorry I can't help you. I couldn't help you back then. If we had just finished guiding the people to safety. If Romeo hadn't faced death and run off to help. Who knows how many victims there'd be. It makes me shiver. Thank you, Romeo. I'm so sorry. Fuck. And it... It was not even, like, in-game, it wouldn't have been, like, more than an hour before between... Well, no, it had been a little while for the funeral, but still. And I was grinding bombs, let's see, yeah. I've heard the friars began accepting Black Plague patients. Will they move the ones who are already here? Even with the casualties among your ranks, I wonder if they're just moving ahead by brute force. You know, when I was a friar, I heard that research for a black plague cure is moving to the clinical trial phase. Everyone should do what they can to make the world a better place. I'll do my best too. Well, at least we finally got the next step in the research. That's good. That usually takes a lot longer. But I guess we're a little bit more advanced. Because, uh, Sakaki and Rachel. Vampire fucking countess. Oh. Romeo's not coming back? I wanted him to read me a picture book. Sorry. Sorry, Asuna. Him and Julius won't be coming back. Not, not any time soon. Ah, you're back. I'm terribly sorry about Romeo. You have my condolences. So, where do we go from here? As per the conference at Friar, blood will become part of the Fire's branch. In short, there's... things are back to the way they were before. I welcome you anew as members of the Fire East. And I'm going to repeat, and you're just going to keep hitting that A button. Okay, goodbye. Yep, thanks, Doc. Now let's hope I didn't screw this up. Hope? Currently occupied. If you have something to say, keep it short. Oh, it'll be short, all right, Julius. Why the hell did you run away from Blood Unit? People of Fragile Guild, surprisingly so. Godark soldiers can be mass-produced and easily repaired. They should be on the front lines. So what? You want to be king of the Tin Soldiers? The results will speak for themselves. There is no place for lofty words in the battlefield. I'm sorry. Disconnecting. <coughs> My poor Julius. Are you well? Don't worry, Doctor. I've completely severed my ties with the blood unit. I meant the plague. Are you in pain? I'm fine. I just need more time. Time to finish training the God Ark soldiers. Soon enough, Julius. The Emmeth device is quickly learning all of your combat talents and tactics. At this rate, the God Ark soldiers will soon surpass the abilities of any flesh and blood God Eater. Good. They must exceed the blood unit as soon as possible. Yes, of course. So that your friends may be spared the horrors of battle. And before death finally, inexorably, comes calling. Fucking vampire countess. MF project? What the fuck's going on with her? Alyssa. I heard about Romeo. That's awful. Seeing the effects of the last red rain. 
Creed also realized the need for quicker for quicker action. After consulting with Soma and Goda, we are considering increasing the area of operation. Man, I like I like Soma in this one too. He's so sassy. Like he was straight up like that showdown between him and Rachel. Pure, pure love. Not between him and her, but me for that scene. Yo, back, my friends. Is there anything this Emil, as one of the Fari's brands such as yourself, can do? Let him know. That's very weirdly worded, but thank you, Emil. Welcome back. They tell me you're working here now. Romeo's God Arc is right here, too. It's an important member of Blood, after all. The Far East Branch maintenance crew is taking care of it. Hey, Cannon. This news isn't talking about... The news isn't talking about God Arc soldier breakdowns. Have they figured out the cause? Satsuki tells me the inconvenient thing about HQ is they're always so vague. That's pretty harsh. Fuck Satsuki. Welcome back. Do you want to eat before you go? Yes, please. Uh. Like when she was when she called out Lika. Real talk, when she called out Lika calling her a vulture, at that point in time, nothing can like bring her up any further from where she dug herself. Uh. She dug herself into a hole she cannot dig herself out of. Even a little. Show us results, they say. Well, let's show them some results. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is that your answer, Julius? And you? It doesn't matter what Julius is thinking. We have to do what we can now. Let's focus on our mission. What's our mission? Our mission? I'm receiving a mission for blood. We're counting on you. That reminds me, Gil requested that you work on collecting materials from the old city after this mission. Don't push yourself too hard, come back before it gets too late. Interesting. Hmm. Is that Gil trying to tell me his character episode's ready? Special flight or er, special favors. Ayaksa Raja has been sighted near the coast. Hurry to the scene and destroy it. A colony of both fiery and charged cocoon mains have taken up root at the site. But these can be ignored. Avoid unnecessary fights as the Yaksharaja will be drawn to the sound of battle. Get the target alone and finish it. I shall try my best. Man. I was prepared to lose Romeo. I wasn't prepared at all for Julius. Not even a little bit. And that happened at the start of this episode. Oh. God damn. Yaksha Raja, um, Yaksha set? I have the cannon lead on this? I should have the Florence. Florence way better for this stuff. Yeah. It's even better too. Yeah. Crossbow doesn't matter too much. I honestly want to try. Kind of want to try snipers. But the thing is, the Yakshas are so fast. I feel like I have to do blasters or shotguns. I'll bring a blaster. We can try a blaster on them. Yeah, that should be fine. Do any of these have good. This has defense 10. That's good for me. I'll take that. And the hop on for divine defense. Okay. Do I have a better buckler? I don't think so. I mean, technically. But. Yeah. Alright. Um, Alright. Wait, Haru. Nope, you're gonna repeat. Alright, see ya. Oh, I forgot to fix the. Support people. God eaters are in position. Watch Ooh, for the enemy at all awkward. times. Mission start! That's real awkward. I'm transmitting hmm. shields new intel on the enemies. And that also tracked me after it dashed. Oh man, they are already pissing me off. 
good start. I'd kind of rather get them to come over here. Or the Aksha. But she's not really coming over here quickly. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Ooh. Alright. I mean, he's coming over now, but... He's still taking his time. The sounds of combat have attracted a oh, Yaksha no. Raja. Hmm. I'm gonna take that hit, just so I can see how much distance I need to keep from them in the future. Which is about, like, a third of a map. Usually. Now will the, um... Cocoon Maidens respawn, like the Sariel fight. I think there's a mission on hard difficulty 4 with the Sariel that the Cocoon Maidens continuously spawn. And it is so effing annoying. They only spawn like one little area. And it's like basically the size of this area right here. And they just continuously spawn. Alright, we're fine. Five seconds before his thing activates. I'm thinking hey. Link support device is Oh, online. that's awkward. Link support device activated. There we go. You're at burst three! Right. Wipe the enemies out! There we go. Man. I don't know what to think about this whole Goddard soldier shit. Like the origami is breaking off its attack. I'm expecting to it to be playing. some. Run them down. It's gonna get origami infection type stuff. Cause I don't know. I'm assuming it's gonna have an origami infection because they're still wielding God Arc weapons. That that's not gonna change. But the thing is, origamis are still living creatures. Like even the origami weapons. They're not going to like to be used by something that has no soul, no connection with them. That they're going to see that getting broken and it's just going to be like, whatever. I don't think the weapons are going to tolerate that. Because like, we've seen them with consciousness before. I don't know. If that's not going to be what happens, we're going to see... God damn. In reality though, Julius's um, actions would actually make a lot of sense though. The, origami is breaking off its the unmanned attack. soldiers die, or break, kill his friend, and then he feels responsible, so he does what he thinks he needs to to get that to advance his research. I'm not trying to think about this. To advance the research so that more people don't have to die like Romeo did. I mean, it's pretty logical in reality. It would be pretty logical for Romeo, or not Romeo, Julius. But still, I hate that fucking attack. No. Oh, no, they hit me good. I just. I don't know. I don't feel like. In another way, I don't think Julius would actually abandon his love. I couldn't see him abandoning his blood earlier. Like, I started to trust in him. Uh, it's breaking away. That sucks. Looks like it's after some food. They're playing. Run them down. Here. Here. Link support device activated. We're five minutes into this operation. It doesn't do that much damage. I expected more. Oh well. This mission's over. 
And then, pro probably not a cutscene after this one. Probably a cutscene after the next mission, I'm gonna guess. Mission complete. Extraction team coming in. If there's a cutscene after this one, I'm a little surprised. But yeah, it's, we're probably gonna get one mission, no cutscene. Another mission, cutscene. Two missions or three missions without cutscenes. And then cutscene, cutscene, mission. Cutscene. Oh shit, that's right. We haven't had like the same issues we've had with uh, Red Spraction where we had like little mini arcs. Like the first third of the game, the second third of the game, and then the last. Hmm. Because like right now we'd already be at like the first third. Don't worry, it's part of the job. I don't know. Right, leave it to me. I don't know how much depth is behind this one. What? You want to try? I doing didn't this? expect the amount of depth that we did have with uh, Resurrection originally. And then I I wanted more. I have to admit that at the end I wanted more. All right. Let's see. Well. Mission complete, Captain. This sounds so strange. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Come on, stop this crap. Hey, I'm not good at saying this sort of thing, so... You're our captain now. That's more than just a title, you know. I trust you with my life. Julius made up his mind to fight him alone. He chose that struggle of his own free will. It may only be for the four of us now. We are the one holding us together. You've already done so much helping Shiel open up, banishing down his demons, fixing me and Romeo. I will support you in any way I can, Captain. And I'm far from the only one who feels that way. Right. We're all waiting for your orders, sir. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm the I'm not just you out there, or it's not just you out there, we're all fighting side by side. I look forward to serving under you, Captain. <laughs> now, let's get back to it. I saw my- I saw Shield's outfit and I actually thought it was Shield for a second, I was like, Why is he calling Shield Captain? Where am I? Like, I really- I legitimately thought that for like, 10 seconds or so there at the start. All right, let me turn this back up. All right. Liga. Friars Black Plague Clinic has finally be, or er, will finally be open, will finally be operational. We're gonna send all our patients there. Asuna wants to tell, Asuna wants you to tell her all about God Ark. When she gets back, by the way. Dr. Skaki said I should write a picture book about god arcs that kids could understand. Maybe I should. I don't know, it's pretty freaking crazy, you know, when our... When we just, like, hold our blade and the big old monster comes out and bites shit. That's pretty freaking crazy. Hey, Shio. As Blood Vice Captain, I will continue to serve as your advisor. I am inexperienced, but no nevertheless. Will continue to do my best. I just heard that Julius's Godark soldier was very successful. The results of this battle will please the people as well as the upper e echelons. Never seen that word before. Of Fenrir. The Godark soldiers haven't really worked until now. Julius is truly a master. Maybe. Thanks to Friar's quick acceptance of patience, things are going pretty smoothly here. I can't say we had the greatest reaction to the plague. People had stopped fighting amongst themselves and patients can focus on recovering. Friar's amazing. People have. Hey, Kugurumi, I haven't seen you for a while. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I miss him too. There we go. Well, you put them all in at once? I knew you weren't a normal person. 
What, like, she actually got all of, all of them? Or she, like, shuffled them at once? That'd be normal. Hey, hey. Hey, they say you're a captain now, so don't sweat the small stuff and do what you always do. Oh, and you using the Link support devices? Like, every mission? Yes. Okay. That Godox soldier is demonstrating such spectacular efforts. You'd think it almost had been reborn. We cannot lose to it. Now is the time to let Paul Stern shine. Yes. Yes, I know. My hand's getting rough. Time to change the detergent. Does she wash it? Is there like a little counter back here? Hmm. Good for you. If there is. Jeez. She works so hard. Man. Hey, Gil. Godark soldiers are quickly producing results. That's Julie's for you, I guess. Captain, we should work on our missions too before we fall behind that guy. Yeah, but you told me you wanted me to collect materials. Like, I took that pretty seriously when you actually told me that. Like, pretty seriously. I was like, shit, are we not going to be able to go back and do missions? For a while? Is that them telling me I can't do stuff? So I have to focus on the story after a certain point? Hey, Baylor. Welcome to the Far East Branch. You are all now a part of the Far East Branch, and... I must admit, I was shocked when Dr. Rachel submitted the request. We've been understaffed for an eternity. I happily welcomed you aboard. The rest of the staff is also happy to have you. Please relax and make yourselves at home. Aw, oh, Coda. Congrats, Captain. I know it isn't necessarily something to celebrate about right now, but I just heard the news. Being in charge of people is no easy task, but I know you can do it, and do it well. If you're ever worried about something, just let me know. Got it? Yep, I know, Coda. You got my back, boy. Alright, let's check on Satsuki. Or not, or not. Satsuki, you know. I know where Satsuki is, and I'm not pleased to see her. Hey, you know. So you've officially been sworn in as a captain of the blood unit. Should I congratulate you? They're going to send the patients to the hospital on Friar, so... Also now wants to say thank you to blood. Thank you for keeping us safe. I was back here all the time, but I never felt lonely. I'll come back after I get better, okay? And then I'll take care of everybody. Oh, So I'd be real happy if you want to wait for me. Keep in touch after you go to Friar, okay, Asuna? Yeet. Oh. That was so damn cute. Oh, Sakaki. What's up? You've finished your first mission as a blood unit of the Far East. Congratulations. I also... I have also just completed my... Your official transfer. So again, welcome to the Fires Branch. Things will no doubt be as difficult as ever, but we'll do our best. That's it? Okay, I will see you. Man. It's gonna be weird. Oh man, Sakaki's our boss again. Yee. Yeah. But then again, Sakaki has a chance to be the evil guy. Mm, we'll see. Man, we've got a lot of character episodes to do, too. I don't want to end it with you. I suppose I should say I should congratulate you, Captain. Be sure to slip some juicy info my way, okay? I'm counting on you. Look, what's our next mission? I received a new mission for blood. Friars Godark soldiers are dealing with almost all of the large Arigami, but in other units will have to entrust have been entrusted with eliminating the remaining small and mid-sized origami. Alright. Mercenary Star. Not as good as, um... Oh, what was it? Rogue Star? Blood Star? I can't remember what it was called. Eliminating the Yaksha Raja and charge to you in the abandoned carrier. All the divine weaponry will work on the Yaksha Raja, whereas Blaze will... 
set the Chi alight. Friar's unmanned Godark soldiers have been sent in and have already dispatched several 70% of the origami. Gadu's on cleanup duty, really? Okay, well next episode we'll start with that. Because I have a feeling like that, we're going to get that and then a cutscene. It's going to take a while. Um, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm loving this. It's just, oh. They hit me hard this episode, man. Like, real hard. I didn't expect that. That was a curveball. I kind of, like, I want to say 5% of me knew that was that might happen. 95% of me was just still kind of shocked from Romeo, but I was getting through it, and then fucking Julius. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as me. I hope you guys enjoy this or something today, because I'm loving God Eater still. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Have a lovely day, everybody. Wrong one. Nope, 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 that's one. Goodbye.